Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're doing more welding. Hi right guys, just finished off the bottle of argon and we just managed to get this weld done for the wastegate. It's all smoky because there's still crap in this. It's not brand new. That's why the welds don't look too good. It's can't clean the inside of them. So we've got all these ones to do. But we need to go get another bottle of argon. Got another bottle of argon so we can do some welding. So we are jumping back and forth between a few different episodes while I'm filming. Um, let's hook the argon up and we'll start welding this bad boy up. Alright, we have argon. Let's start welding. I might just go for it. Weld this all up and then come back. It takes a bit of time. I just want to get it done and hopefully get that get that into the car. So what I might do is get the sharpie onto here, do a few markings on this join here. Breaking the tacks off that one. It's gonna be a lot easier for me to weld and we'll weld that up then weld that one back on. I did mark it. Alright guys just finished welding that up and it was horrible. I cleaned it up real good. I wiped it down. I sharpened the tungsten and it just wasn't my night. I really need to get a better welder and practice more, of course. But it's done. Um, I'm gonna clean it up now and give it a paint. So it's the same colour as the headers, so in that alloy heat proof, and then we'll be getting the turbo on, the up pipe on, uh, the manifold on, and get it closer. So let's clean it. I guess so I've used the drill and wire brush to clean it up, and then I've wiped it down with some prep wash. Looks funny from this angle with the full openings I need to take them up. Alright guys all taped up let's give it a paint. Alright that side has been painted I'll leave it for a little bit come back and flip it over and do the other side and then I'll go to bed. Alright guys it's the next day and this is all painted and dried. Pretty sure I've got it all. Cool we'll set that aside and we need to weld up the wastegates up pipe. So I'm going to weld everything from that end down to here. And then this part here I'll leave like that. So when we fit it we can see if we need to do any movements or anything like that, any changes. I guess I'll weld it this section up and um, it's still hot. I'll clean it up as well but uh, my best welds are down there. We are not going to see them. Alright, time to double check some fittings in the engine bay. Let me start putting things back in. Alright, fittings look good. So the ones I was looking for are the power steering and the oil drain. And they seem tight, so let's get the up pipe back in. Up pipe is loosely on there. We need to get the exhaust manifold on so everything lines up properly and then we can tighten that down all right exhaust is on it's all tight so we'll head up here and tighten up the up pipe as we can get the tda5 back on all right so i got the the wastegates little up pipe up through there so we should be able to get it out um, without taking that up pipe off I believe I have scratched the up pipe though. Oh well. Let's put the turbo on now. Alright, TA5 is on. This is still loose. Uh, we haven't got water out yet. We've got water in, we've got oil in, oil out. So we need to put the gasket on the back and put this crazy octopus looking thing on. Alright, so that is fully bolted on now. So this part of the wastegate section is in the correct location and that is not changing. We've got this bit down here that needs to go onto there. 
Alright, so this little up pipe wastegate is not the right angle. Can't chop it tonight. It's getting late. It's like 11.30. Yep, 11.25. Um, we'll, we'll get that out. I'll put the wastegate in down here, ready for tomorrow. I think I just need more angle at this 90 degrees up here. Alright guys, I'm back. It's during the day. So, let's do some cutting and grinding and welding. Be nice and noisy during the day. So we need to do this up pipe. It's going to be fun. Alright guys, it's about 10.30 now. I've got a little bit to go on this up pipe. Just need to cut out like a little pie cut. And we should have it done. So we'll come back when I get it out and weld it up. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get it back in. Because the shape and angles have changed on it. Alright boys, got the little pie cut done there, so we'll tack it all together, and um, I'm going to see if I can get this in before I fully weld it. Alright, it's all tacked together, let's see if I can fit that in. Alright guys, so I've finished welded that up pipe there, so while that cools down, I'm going to clean up the engine bay a little bit, mainly the wiring and vacuum lines over here. Alright. That's uh, looking a bit better. Should be cooled down by now. Woo! Alright, it's 1.20 in the morning. Finally got the wastegate up pipe on. It's not painted, but I'm not. I'm not painting it until next time. Um, so that means we can get the GT35 on now really see the difference with the black wrinkle paint on the turbo. Got quite a bit done today. Still need to do, need to weld up the bottom section of the dump pipe. And uh, the exhaust should be done for now. So, um, it's 2 a.m. So I'm going to call it and uh, we'll be back either tomorrow and today or the next day um, to weld that up. And we should get a start up next episode. Alright guys, it's the next night and I'm just going to finish weld the bottom of the dump pipe. It locked in straight away, so it's all good. So let's do that and we should be done. Alright, so I've finished the welding. I didn't realise I had to weld that much. So that the cat to weld in there was one up the other end that I need to do and I need to finish off like a wedge uh, a pie cut as well, so there's five um, welds all the way around, and this is how much welding rod I have left. So <laughs> we just got it done, and I'm two thirds through my bottle of argon that I got uh, four days ago. Let that cool down. That's freaking hot, don't know why I touched it. We'll get that out, that bung there, because that's where our Haltech O2 sensor is going. And uh, let it cool down a bit, and we'll chuck it back on. Put the clamps on, get it all mounted up, and then we need to get power steering fluid in. I'll leave that off, and then put some intercooler piping back on, and we should be able to start it again. Alright, so I just put some power steering fluid, or trans fluid in there. ATF, same thing. Um, that is full. Now there's nothing in the lines, so when we start it up and the pump goes, uh, we're going to get some air and everything come through, and that will go down. We'll chuck some more in. So just got to remember that. And put the lid back on. So I want to get this started over this long weekend, over Easter, and then we can have. Is it two weeks? Uh, fine tuning things mainly with the tune getting it running I think I need to hook up the speed sensor as well so that will most likely be one of the wires that I've got here this one here and that is I believe on this side of the transmission at the back so I'm in the wrong location for that one anywho Looks a bit neater. I've put all the wiring down this way. Um, still a lot to do though. 
Still a lot to do. Alright, exhaust is all on. O2 bung is, or O2 sensor is in. So what I'm going to do is actually hook up the vacuum lines for the wastegate that's down there. Alright guys, so the wastegate down below for the TDO5 is now all hooked up. So, next episode guys, we'll button everything up and we'll get it started again. There is a little bit of difference now. Um, the wastegates have swapped over. So we've got 5 PSI on the TDO5 and 10 on the big boy, the GT35. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, keep watching up here to enjoy some more content from me. And I'll catch you next episode. Bye.